Ford is redefining the auto part of the word automobile. We see autonomous vehicles as having as significant an impact on society as Ford's moving assembly line did over a hundred years ago. Mark Fields is the president and CEO of the Ford Motor Company. Ford is going to be mass producing vehicles with full autonomy in five years. That means there's going to be no steering wheel, there's not going to be a gas pedal, there's not going to be a brake pedal, and of course a driver is not going to be required. Field says that by 2021, driverless cars will be cruising the streets of American cities as part of ride hailing and ride sharing services. In other words, Uber without an Uber driver. There are legal and ethical hurdles that need to be overcome, including, for example, who's liable in the event of an accident and who will the car protect? In other words, Will the car hit a group of school children if that means protecting the occupants of the driverless car? There's also a huge cultural shift that has to take place within the massive global auto industry. After more than a hundred years of extolling the pleasure of driving, they are now going to have to focus on keeping riders occupied while Siri takes the wheel. As part of the annual meeting of journalists called Further with Ford, the company unveiled three new inventions by Ford engineers, including a smartphone that controls the environmental systems of the car from the back seat, a system that recycles condensation from automotive air conditioning systems into clean drinking water, and a disc that allows you to make the last part of your commute aboard an electric contraption called Kari. So imagine a consumer who lives in suburban area and works in city centers. He could use his car, drives towards the city, but then leaves his car in, at the park and ride lot, get to the trunk, get the carry out of it, steps on it and drives the last miles to his final destination on the carry, avoiding all traffic jams and saving a lot of time. The inspiration behind the carry was to really offer a flexible way of transportation. I really want to create a device that is more than just a hoverboard, just a ride-on device. It is also a tether device which can carry your stuff and it fits greatly into the trunk of a car. I really wanted to offer the, the users a lot of features in one very compact and easy to use device. Ford also took the wraps off the new 10-speed transmission on its bread and butter Ford F-150. We drove the model with electric power steering and the big pickup drives even more like a luxury car than ever before. The technology has grown even more robust than the Fusion Energy, which is Ford's plug-in hybrid which competes with the Chevy Volt. Not only will the sedan run on electric power for part of your commute, it will also stop and go for you in stop and go traffic, bringing the average American one step closer to autonomous driving. Bill Ford was asked if he would change the name of the company from the Ford Motor Company to just Ford to reflect the company's move into diversified transportation and data. His response was, hell no. But it does raise some interesting questions. Someone else asked the heir to the Ford dynasty if he was willing to change the Ford slogan to, have you been driven by a Ford lately? He was more amenable to that. For our latest video car reviews, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at Grant Winter. In Dearborn, Michigan, I'm Grant Winter reporting for Real World Test Drive.